Hey, welcome back everyone to the brand new edition of Banjo Kazooie and today, guess what? It's the final! Oh my god! We're already there. Oh, well, it's been quite long for me. Still, I'm here today to bring you the final and we're gonna have a fun time doing it. So we're here in the until the furnace fun, I do believe. And uh, what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna go f onward. And I got a little story. Um... I'm again doing this post commentary, unfortunately. But there, there, there's just one thing I want to tell you. It's just. I've tried to do this live a second time. And then I realized that. I couldn't. Unfortunately. So I wasn't able to record this live a second time. Because in the after game, you cannot fight Gruntilda again, which is the sad news about this game, because as you may know, Gruntilda is, in my opinion, the best fight of the game, so it's pretty cool. And uh, if you go back, you can get three really easy extra life in here, in the um, in the quiz game, so that's quite cool, if you know you're gonna die quite a bit, like I usually do. So the moment you move... Uh, to through the gate, you climb up the stair. And there's also an extra life on that uh, first. Yeah, there's also uh, children that teleports from over there. You really don't need it though. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like what 30 seconds of more backtracking, <laughs> and it's not like you're gonna get you you're gonna come here anytime soon too. Unless you miss some stuff, which I highly doubt. So, um, things that I don't understand in the last part of Gruntilda's Lair is the fact that they still put you more musical notes, door, and a jigsaw pedestal like this. And I'm like, why you. Why here? There's, there's no point. I mean, like, really, there's, there's just no point. You already reached your quiz game, so why put more stuff? I just, I, it just feels dumb to me. And here's the uh, experiment lab. Uh, I do believe you cannot open either of these doors. Um, so this room is kind of pointless. If somebody knows something in the... Or it was just to fill in because they want to show uh, with Gruntilda as her experiment and everything. But without further ado, let's play Solve the Jiggy. Just, just play Solve the Jiggy. And we got a Gruntilda picture. Ugh. You're already gross like this. I don't really want you. I'm sad to say down. There you'll stop because I'm safe here at the top. She's a, she's, she's a pretty cool villain. And here I was just checking to see if I uh, missed anything because I'm pretty sure this room doesn't do a thing. It was just a room where uh, 3D was supposed to transfer into Gwatanda! Uh So you need 84 jigsaw if you want to access the last, the last part of the game. And here's kind of a big discussion, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk over it. Just for the fact that uh, I don't f you you can read if you can't read English I'm sorry but that's kind of primary <laughs> but uh, yeah to completely finished game well not completely but just to finish game you must have 810 uh, musical notes and 94 jigsaw I do believe and I always found that pretty dumb. Considering you need like I don't know what 69 jigsaw, I do believe just to enter the quiz game, and then suddenly do you need like uh, what 25 more? And I I think that's dumb to be perfectly honest. Why why you give us a greater number of jigsaw collect if we're already in the last part of the game? I just find it this weird. But that's it. Um, so yeah, he's just explaining that to read Gruntilda, we just jump into the medical cauldron. 
ma magical cauldron. It's magical! Yeah! And uh, you don't really need all 900 musical notes if you want to complete the game. I, I found that weird too, but 900 notes aren't for anything. And these are refills, they will completely refill to 200 good eggs. If you have to cheat though. So if you don't have to cheat, then you can't. <laughs> Here's a golden feather refill. By the way, um, I know I got a red feather refill, uh, cheat. I mean, and uh, a blue feather cheat? A uh, blue eggs cheat, sorry. But, um. I don't. Uh, so, oh yeah, here is where you get uh, an extra power up, which is quite nice. But just look at it. We're all red now. Which is uh, a double. It's like an extra life. So you have. So instead of having nine. Uh, hits you can take instead of nine hits before you die you can take now 18 well it depends on the enemy though uh, but still uh, I was talking about the red feathers and blue eggs I got the blue eggs cheat and the red feathers one but is there one for the golden feather I'm not sure anyway if if you know about it please tell me I will be glad to know that so yeah we're going to fight Final boss. Let's jump in! Pop us up! Poop us up! What's in that shoulder? I'm worried. I can't believe that for you for repair! Oh, got right up here. It's so unfair! But now the stupid bear must fight this battle piss. Your skills and might. Wait, that didn't rhyme? The fuck, Gruntilda? So, the first... <laughs> so, the first half... Of, uh, I mean, the first part of this fight is basically uh, Gruntilda on a broomstick, and she's gonna try to... Um, to rush in you with uh, her broomstick, and all you gotta do is move away a few times, and when her broomstick is out of gasoline? I don't know. Um... It will stop, and here's just a chance to peck her in your inner gross boat. And as you can see, uh, having more, having that double life is extremely nice. And honestly, you don't even need the whole 100 jigsaw. You only need like nine, uh, 98 jigsaw. And since it's only four jigsaw head, I recommend. I highly recommend that uh, you. Uh, you go out of your way to get these four extra jigsaw to for the end of the game. I mean, might as well. It isn't that far away, and it's pretty rewarding and will help you immensely for this fight. I gotta say though, I, I think it's much, much more easier for me to comment over this this time because I actually know what's going to happen, and I think that's pretty amazing. This, this fight is actually one of the only fight I consider boss fight in this game. It's, it really is. And that attack that she, that she just did, I don't think you were able to dodge it. I've tried multiple times. Uh, second part of the fight should be at one of the corner of the castle. The only thing you gotta do is go over um, the little ledge and shooting eggs! After three smack in the face, or in the broomstick, I'm still wondering where the hex go. Um, she will go uh, at the outer corner. After the four corner, then here comes a new phase. But uh, I don't mind the subject of the fight. Um, Gruntilda's attack are mainly these meteor, and uh, these meteor are kind of like the balls of the snowmen. The snowballs of the snowmen. This ball sounds silly. <laughs> but basically, um, the um, it likes like the balls of the snowman. In the direction they're going, if you continue in that way, it's gonna hit you for sure. Um, uh, so Gruntilda's mm, fireballs are like that. So how a good strategy to avoid them is um, just run around in circle. 
And if you do that, uh, then the meteor will go in the direction that you were facing when she launched that attack. So, you will most likely avoid it most of the time. Alright, third part of the fight. Uh, basically, the fl you fly around a Kazooie and peak bomb it, peck muscle. I'm so not sure of the name of this attack. She will uh, sometime uh, stop for, for a little more time. And every time you hit her, uh, she will always have one more meteorite to her, her attack. Or fireballs, whatever you want to call it. I'll just say fireballs, because it's more convenient. But gotta watch out, because since the pig bomb attack has kind of a low accuracy, and uh, there's a little delay between when you activate and when it does it, uh, I actually recommend to stay really close to Gruntilda. Because it's really hard uh, to hit her, and it's really easy to miss too. <laughs> but like I said, this is the one fight that I consider a boss fight in this game. The other one was just... Uh, I don't consider Konga to be a boss fight. I don't consider uh, the frog's attack to be a boss fight. I don't consider... Uh, I, I don't... I think the only thing that I could consider as a boss fight... You see that shit? That's what I hate. But uh, I don't consider... Uh, a lot of the thing as a boss fight in this game, even though it's said it is, and uh, the only thing I could consider a real boss fight, excluding Gruntilda, is the boom boom boom, boom, boom box of uh, Rusty Bucket Bay, you know, that big box with little box inside that goes arr, arr, when you hit it. <laughs> oh, by the way, this phase is kind of long of Gruntilda, so yeah. Like I said, the best way is to get real close to her and just uh, follow her ears. And once you get the hang out of it, you, it can be done quite easily. You see here, I got it right. And after a certain amount of hit, I'm still not sure she would cast a shield. So you can no longer attack her. So what do you do? What do you do? Oh, by the way, you get a hit every time. Uh. Yeah. Grunty capture us, sweet angel, now we come to save you. I don't know. You such a girl, you shall be hurt. Go back right now to taste my boot. I, I just changed voice of Gruntilda. <laughs> so, um, make sure to grab these, uh, these honeycomb slides. She's leaving. And I think you need two blue eggs to activate the ginger. Ginger! Whee! Boom! <laughs> Uh, but there's only four Jinjo. Where's the fifth one? I don't think you're gonna see me now, because I actually die, I think, three times in this fight. <laughs> yeah, I suck balls at this game. And you see here, this is where you begin to apply the meteor dodging and rounding technique. Because it's where it's the most useful. I think you need two or three blue eggs to activate them. I'll go with a safe bet of of two, because I think that's what it is. I'm mostly wrong about that, and you know what? I just know it. But uh, yeah. Chinchou! Wee! <laughs> Come on, it's just so awesome. And here's the fifth and final. Fa is it the fifth phase? Well, no matter. It's the final phase. Now you may be asking, what do I do? What do I do? Remember when I said it was only four ginger? Remember? You remember? Yeah, here I tried to peek attacker and it didn't work. Here's the fifth. I am the man de gingerator. Activate me. That's too good, you stupid jerk. The ginger statue will not. Jerk? I don't know, I didn't see what she was uh, saying. But basically, there's four activating points. Uh, you want to activate them, of course. And you gotta watch out for her attack, because uh, all of her attacks can pass through object. Don't know how that works. Still. By the way, here I die, so I'm gonna refill and cut back to the point where I was. 
and here is my second attempt. I am the mighty Jinjo Nata. Activate me! That's no good, you should be jerked, and Jinjo said she will not work. Oh, that's what she said, not jerk. Well, that surely worked. As you see, the fireballs pass through a stone. Not sure, and there's no way I think to avoid this. So I, I just recommend you use the invincibility gold and feather to defeat them. I think it smells easier like this. So you gotta watch out for the fireballs. And the best time to actually activate the thing is when she uh, is there's a lapse between uh, her meteor launch. Her meteor. There's a small interval interval in uh, between our meteor waves that's your best chance as you see here I have a bit of time so I uh, so I regurgitate some eggs so yeah you gotta watch out for that and uh, yeah that's basically it after you activate this it's, it's, it's the end no kidding the only problem is I don't survive at least, I don't think so. And make sure not make stupid play at this point, because this is where you're mostly out of energy. And this this is bullcrap. I was I was aiming in the direction, still I wasn't able to. And I'll cut back again. And here is my third and final attempt. I am the mighty Agent Jonathan. Activate me! I change voice all the time. Don't you dare cheat, but I don't care. I can't be beat. And uh, something I really like every time Matilda speaks in this fight, uh, she changes line. At least I I've seen that. I mean, uh, if you go back like two minutes ago in this video, you see that she was saying a different uh, sentence when there's the mighty change your life. That appeared before us. Um, still, I recommend being really, really careful because you're probably not on your extra life anymore. So you're gonna watch out for that, or maybe I just real suck bad at Benji, we, which I already know, because this this thing's blind. And by the way, while I'm on the subject of that, I don't think I want to do another blind let's play, guys. <laughs> Just be suck. I suck immensely. I them. I really. Did. Though I was able to complete that hundred percent, which I, I felt kind of proud for. And here comes the last one. Is it the last? One? Is it the last one to activate? Yet it is. Here it comes. And by the way, Chicho! 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 I'm just gonna shut up because this. The next part is so awesome. Oh my god.
this is great. We are finished now, Tootie. Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that, Shorty? I'm a hero. Yes, I suppose uh, you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thank Googles, you're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's switch guest list near. So, that was Banjo Kazooie, everyone. L let's just celebrate! I'll get myself some beer. No, that's not true. I, I don't drink beer. Actually, I kind of hate beer. <laughs> I, I just didn't find my my sort of beer yet. Still, that was Banjo Kazooie, everyone. First game I ever played, and I'm really happy that this was I. At the chance to play when I was way too young to understand any English of any sort, so I felt that basically every game ever made. So, yeah, what are my impressions on it? Incredibly fun. I, I think this is a real, a revolutionary. <laughs> um, I think this is an extraordinary 3D platformer that collected Tom. I need to mention that. That, um, quite a lot of game developers and game company should inspire themselves for the next game of the next generation just do this with better graphics you know this is what we gamers want we don't care about 16 bits shit cuz this this right here is simply a masterpiece of collecton and of enjoyment if you know what you're doing, not like me that you die all the time because you didn't know where you were going. The, it, it's fantastic. It's, it's just... It's well made. It's well crafted. There's not a time in this game when you need to backtrack. Well, exception of one Jiggy, but that's just one j j Jigsaw pieces, so... No need to row... <laughs> Rory, <laughs> no need to worry about that. And I mean, graphic-wise, it's quite amazing. We're talking about 1988 graphics here. We're talking at the time where when Mario 64 was out, when the time with Ocarina of Time was out, and by the time Sonic Adventure was out, it's it's just. Amazing to see how well these graphics have aged for, N for the N64 and just how beautiful the world is designed and stuff. I love how it is. And this is this game also has something that I love called Simple Plot. Take something simple and yet make it so great. With such great villains. I love Gruntilda as a villain. Though she's extremely goes during strip teasing her free time and stuff. And because of her undies and her quiz game and Brentilda. <laughs> Though yeah, um excuse me for a second. Uh but the story is simple yet memorable. It's easy to pick up too, like you saw you you saw I fucked up, yet it's fun to play. Cause it's so, it's so easy to, well it's kinda, I don't know how I should say it, um, it's, it's just fun, go and buy it, what are you waiting for? Wait, this snake has a name? <laughs> yeah, there's thing in this game that you don't even know it at, it has uh, a name, but, Tumblr? Wait, the, the Ice Cube has a name? What the hell? The, the Ice Cube that contained Jigsaw had a name. Okay. That 
that that is weird. Might as well tell you. Um, yeah, but just uh, simply just go and buy. This game is you know is it's a it's a classic and a masterpiece for a reason. Oh, boombox. <laughs> but um, you can go and get it in uh, Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, PSM, PlayStation Network, or just get the original cartridge. Personally, uh, if I were you, I would take the Xbox Live Arcade version slash uh, PSN one because you actually can get uh, to transfer stuff that you're gonna see in a few minutes uh, from Benji for uh, to Benji Tui. If uh, because there's actually extra stuff that continues in the sequel of this game. Uh, extra unlockable collectibles that you can actually get, like I said, uh, from Benjo Kazooie to Benjo Tui. The only problem is you need to have the DLC of nuts and bolts, and nobody really loves nuts and bolts and stuff. But if you want to start somewhere, not sure in 3D platforming or just video game in general, I think this is a good place where to start. Hey, Mumbo got secret picture. Nice one, Malbrain. What's on them? Got pictures of thing you must secret use in next game. Oh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great, so let's see the pictures then, skirt boy. Did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mambo. Yeah, so show us your secret, mask midget. Pictures show me things you miss. Secret that are for new game. Benjo Tui. Benjo Tui? Sounds great. Isn't it any good? Is it any good? Mambo just dropped in all. Hey, why isn't it called Benjo Kazooie Tui? I'd better be in it too. Short stuff. Benjo Tui makes Benjo Kazooie look like joke. Mambo show you pictures of stuff can use in new game here. So they're not real pictures, they're more like videos into pictures. Hey Shorty, how did you make that rock rise up? Uh uh Mambo not telling <laughs> What does he have like? Does Mambo is actually a good shaman? He can actually do impressive stuff? I mean, transforming me into a bee is quite impressive. But not necessarily in the good way, considering I already have a bird in my back. So yeah, there's actually secret collectibles, and these pictures aren't pictures. They're more like videos, like I said. You lied to us, Mumbo! I'm gonna f freaking kill you! I'm gonna kill you so bad! You ain't gonna feel your legs after that! That was extremely weird. Sorry for my weirdness today. It shows that I can finally move on. But yeah, um... After the first secret, I'll, I'll begin to talk because you may be like... <gasps> was that? It's an enormous question mark egg. I'm questioning myself now. Next secret is in the uh, Freezy Peak. I... <sighs> That. But uh, I don't think I can get them back. At least I'm not sure. Um, still, uh, if you didn't know already, well, you got them in a few days anyway. Next, let's play, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be OTT Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. Came out around the same time as this game. So you can always look forward to that. I'll make sure you're gonna 
I'm gonna be professional, 100%ing it, as usual. And, uh, what can I say? Yeah, I'm gonna be 100%ing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And, uh, if you had, if you have anything else you want to add for this, or you're like, Hey, you've missed this! Uh, just tell me in the comments, I'll make sure to make a next sort of video. For now, I am done with this game. And uh, just saying that I am ready to move on. Because I'm kind of sick of wasting a lot of my time on this. And uh, don't forget, as always, review will be coming up for this game in about a week or two. Still not sure. Freaking part time job. Still looking forward to that. I'm gonna make sure this one. Are isn't, isn't as fucked up as usual. Plenty of project for summer. So also that's coming up. Plenty of money. So uh, I'll make sure to to buy new material, making new quality and stuff. And with that said, I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.